step will be to get the skin on it, plywood, and then uh, get the wiring, the lights in here, the latch. Actually, we still have, um, I got uh, space, I got to fill these in with pieces of wood too. So that'll really help brace this and bring everything up and um, really firm it up too. So um, but we'll save that for another day. All right, the next step is to fill in, as I mentioned before, the other side of our braces that uh, brings it to an uh, inch and a half thick. And uh, we've got it all, you know, all 16 of these to do. So we'll do that, we'll glue those in and uh, move on. Okay, we're ready to attach the plywood to the inside of our hatch. Again, not happy with this plywood. There's something something else I'm noticing. I don't know if you can see it, but it's like all pitted. <sighs> we'll poly it up and sand it out should look all right anyway i'm not really sure how i'm going to connect this i think i'm just going to glue it on in sections and clamp it down i'll put this piece of wood through the middle here looks like it's going to lay down onto it pretty good anyway so shouldn't be a problem Lots of glue, lots of All right, we got it all clamped up, partially stapled on the edge, weighted in the middle just to make sure it stays down. And uh, we'll let that dry and then we'll trim the edges and uh, start light laid out and wiring. And um, I don't know, what else? Hinges. I guess we'll have to do the other side first before hinges, but. All right. All right, let's get these clamps off and see how it looks.
that hurt my back. this out, probably get some urethane on it, um, the sooner the better, keep it clean, and start laying out lights. Well, I just installed the outer trim, I know I didn't video any of it. It was a little frustrating. I was debating whether even to use this plywood. This is basically the remnants of what I used and uh, the ends that were kind of rippled. But once I laid it, kind of got it in place and cut the ends that were really bad off, um, I thought it was okay. Uh, could be better. I would have been happier, as I've said, if the plywood was better. Uh, I wasn't supposed to have a seam here, technically, but um, with me cutting out the bad parts of plywood, this is all I had, and I wasn't going to wait around to order more. I debated using Luon, but um, once I laid it in before I glued and, glued and stapled it, uh, it seemed to lay in all right. So I think it'll fly. Um, you know, there's a little bit of ripple. Uh, and it and it's just the it's the plywood, um, but I think you know <laughs> it is a homemade teardrop camper. It won't be perfect. Um, anyway, so I've got it glued, stapled, and um, even though it's stapled here, I just I just put some clamps on the end just just to make sure it's kind of holding holding itself down. Um, while the glue dries. Otherwise, I feel like the, I got the arch pretty good. I feel like I got the pieces here to line up pretty good. I'll sand out the roughness there. Same thing here. So, we'll let it dry and we'll trim off our edges and uh, see about installing the last of our Phylon. I have the hatch sitting here, I thought, <clears throat> as I'm picking it up, I'm thinking, how much does this thing weigh? So I already got uh, supports. They're like uh, hatch springs that's supposed to hold, I think they're 40 pounds each. But I could be wrong, could be total together. I'll look into that. But let me weigh it and see what it, how much it is. Let me just set this up. So you can see the scale. Can you see that? All right, I'm up almost 203. Let me pick up this. Two thirty-six. Well, that's good. Two thirty-six. Two o three. 33 pounds. We do have a little bit more. We'll have a, a hatch spring, hatch latch that goes on it. It's at the bottom here. I don't want to dig it out. Phylon on top. Uh, what else? Oh, metal. All our metal edges. So that might put us close, or about 40 pounds, I'd say. Uh, we'll see. All right, today it's nice and cool. Perfect day. Yesterday was 100. Today it's 65. <laughs> so I didn't feel like doing this yesterday. So today's a perfect day for being in here. I've got all my adhesive on. It's doing the hatch, doing the bottom of the rounded edge of the trailer. This is the last of our Phylon. And I'm gonna stick it on here soon, just waiting for this to set up, which I think it's ready now. 
And um, I think uh, the trick I saw with this is put a plastic bag on it. Which I have here. I can lay the stuff on. All right, did a lot of little things yesterday, and we also received a few shipments that I was looking for. Um, let me just show you what I got here. We've got our diamond plate. Sorry about the noise, the wind, wind is flipping the doors around. So this diamond plate, which we're putting on the front and back of the teardrop. So that was kind of holding up some things. Um, got my handle on. Got my uh, edge edging, which is in here. Cut and drilled. You see I drilled all my holes and got it cut to length. But I'm waiting to put that on because I want to do the uh, backside first. I don't have to deal with it because it hangs out pretty far. I don't have to be flipping it around with that on there. But it's all ready to go, basically. Um, and that stuff could be coming today or tomorrow. So that's the situation with that. Um, if I have to wait any longer, I'll probably put this on because I want to get the hinge on the top. As you can see, I've got the hinge on here. Put that on. It's pretty straightforward. Now, uh, one of the things that we do to make this watertight is we use this special adhesive tape here which I've started to put on that went under the same tape went under the hinge that just seals the the raw edge because we know we have a raw edge when we uh, glue it on so I've already done this side but I made a mistake I mean I got it on there the way it should be but I gotta get the diamond plate on here right so I need to put the tape over the diamond plate, but I can't put the diamond plate on until I get my tape, my adhesive, two-sided adhesive tape, which that could be coming today too. So anyway, here's the raw edge I was talking about. That tape just seals over that, keeps water from getting into it. And uh, I got the inch and a half width, which I think is just about right. It hangs over just a little bit over here on this edge. 
So I'm just, when, once I put the metal trim on, I'll just have a little bit of edge to trim off, which should be fine. All right, we're gonna get to putting our metal edge onto our hatch. And uh, it simply just goes on like that. Nothing, nothing too special, it's simple enough. Um, I did wanna mention how you'd think a company that ships out pieces of metal could do it so that they'd get here without damage. So these came in a big tube. You can see they're just all marked up. And that's just simply by, because of the pieces being in the tube bouncing around. So there was four pieces and a tube with this much space, you know? So it makes it like a gem tumbler. It's just bouncing around. You know, and all it would take is to crumple some paper. So these, these two are probably, well, even these are marked up. Um, I'm, I, I just got to move on. I'm going to deal with it. What I've done with this one here is I just kind of sanded it out, which gives it more of a brushed finish. So I'll just do that to all of them and, uh, that'll look, that'll work. So anyway, we'll get this on right now. We'll flip it over, do the other side with the other moldings, get the hurricane hinge on, and then maybe get it slid on there. And then we can get on to doing the camper moldings around the outside corner. Alrighty. So we got the aluminum edge on. I think that went pretty good. The um, corners look pretty good. That's probably my worst one right there. A lot of time in drilling all those holes and getting it to lay in there right. More than I wanted. Anyway, so now we'll flip it over and, and get the other side on. All right, we've got our edge attached, our outer edge. And now I'm fastening the corner supports. I've got this one on already. It's basically these little clips that fit underneath. And I got my JD weld here. And we're gonna stick it on right here. Like I just did with that other one. All right, we'll let that set up and then we'll fold these corners over. All right, I got the hatch on. Uh, I'm not totally happy with it. Uh, I think it looks good. I have some concerns about the, the seal. The seal should be about a half uh, half inch compressed. So you can see I drew a line where I think it's gonna be tight. Also, it seems to hit too soon. It's close. So I have a number of concerns and ideas on how to make sure that that's gonna happen right. 
But uh, in the meantime, I'm just let that go. That's that'll be a lot of fiddling and diddling. I don't know if it's just a matter of getting a piece of weather stripping that's the right thickness, or to make it consistent. I'm thinking I should probably shim this a little bit before I put the thing on. I think that'll help. Um, but like I said, this is I still got to cock this. I'm gonna I didn't have the right screws, so I'm gonna take this off and redo that. Um, this may involve a little bit of. Um, routering so that that we'll see these are just thoughts to get that weather stripping to sit down right well that's it for now on our teardrop build i do appreciate you all watching and i look forward to seeing you here again